Hi there. Hope everyone is having a good time. Some of you might have wondered what is an echocardiogram. An echocardiogram is an ultrasound of the heart. It takes pictures of the beating heart. A probe is used to send sound waves to the heart. It can create images of the entire heart. An echocardiogram can be done in two ways. The first method is called the transthoracic echocardiogram. During this test, gel is put on the chest and the transducer or the probe is placed on the chest from outside. The second method is the transesophageal echocardiogram. During this, the probe is put through the throat into the food pipe which is called the esophagus. There is one more additional type of echocardiogram which is called the stress echo. It is looking at the heart when the heart is working fast. Now let's look at five different things we can learn about our heart from an echocardiogram. Echocardiogram can identify the pumping capacity of the heart. Our heart is like a pump. It pumps blood throughout our whole body. The pumping capacity of the heart is expressed by the ejection fraction or EF of the heart. Ejection fraction is the volume of blood that can be pumped out of the heart with each heartbeat. The average ejection fraction is around 50 to 70%. Only a part of the blood that comes into the heart is pumped out of the heart with each heartbeat. High ejection fraction as well as low ejection fraction can cause issues. With the echo, we can learn if the heart is pumping less, which can be extremely helpful in treatment. Echocardiogram looks at the heart valves. Our heart has four chambers. Two upper chambers are called the atria and the two lower chambers are called the ventricles. There is a valve between each atrium and ventricle. Additionally, there is a valve between each ventricle and its outflow. These valves prevent the backflow of blood. Sometimes, the valves can be too narrow. It is called stenosis. Aortic stenosis is a common condition. It decreases blood supply throughout the body. Sometimes the valves are too floppy and cause backflow. This is called regurgitation. Echo helps us to identify any pathologies within the valves which can help us to treat. Next, the echocardiogram helps to identify any dilations of the largest blood vessel of the body. Aorta is the largest vessel in the body. It rises from the left ventricle of the heart. The left ventricle is the main chamber which pumps blood throughout the body. The aortic root is the first area of the aorta. It faces high pressure every day. In the long run, the vessel can get dilated. This is called aortic root dilation. If it gets too dilated, it can cause severe life-threatening conditions. However, an echocardiogram is a handy tool to look for the size of the aortic root. Routinely repeated echocardiograms can help us to keep track of mildly dilated aortic roots. An echocardiogram measures the pressure within the lungs. When blood passes from the heart's right side to the left side of the heart, it goes through the lungs. Lungs help to get rid of the carbon dioxide and get oxygen into the blood. Pressure within the lungs can indicate pathologies of the heart or the lungs. High pulmonary pressures 
can be identified through echo. This can help for future treatment. Lastly, the echocardiogram can help to identify fluid within the heart. If there is a collection of fluid within the heart, it is called pericardial effusion. This fluid is actually within the membrane around the heart. Too much fluid around the heart can compromise the pumping capacity. However, if it is slow, it may not have any effect on the pumping capacity. There can be many reasons for accumulation of fluid around the heart. Some of the reasons could be infection, cancer or even autoimmune diseases. If this fluid accumulates acutely, we may have to remove the fluid soon. But if it is chronic, we can do further testing such as cardiac MRI to find the reason. Now we know five things we can learn about our hearts through an echocardiogram. Proper knowledge about the heart can help us to have a better view of our continually beating heart. This can facilitate any required treatments. The next time when the doctor tells about the echo results, we can ask the proper questions to better understand our heart. Thank you for joining. See you next time with more exciting information.